Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to start a business on Amazon without no money. The first thing you will need to do is go onto Amazon.com and create an account. Once you have created an account, Amazon is one of the most popular e-commerce platforms around. As numerous persons go onto Amazon daily to purchase various items. And I'll be showing you how you can start selling items on Amazon without any money. For example, if you were to go onto Amazon and you were to type in journals, you can see right here you have journals for numerous options. If you were to type in journals for, for example, if you were to put P, you can see different items. So you can see journals for planning, journals for preschoolers, journals for pastors. And if you were to put in L, you can see journals for left-handed people, journals for liquor girls, journals for Latinas. And best believe that these journals are selling. And you can also do other low-content books. For example, you could create coloring books and so on. And all of these items, you'll be able to sell them on Amazon with no money up front. You don't have to worry about purchasing anything as I'm going to be showing you how to make these books for completely free. And you don't have to worry about paying Amazon as Amazon won't make any money until you make money. So the first thing you're going to do is decide the type of journal that you want to create. Whether you like to create a journal for little girls, a journal for leaders, a journal for any reason at all. As I, can, as I said, all you need to do is simply type in journals for. Then you'll simply change the letter of the alphabet and you can see that there is a journal for basically everything. And while Amazon is mainly for purchasing and so on, it is also a very popular search engine. Meaning that if you rank highly based on the keywords that you choose you don't have to worry about any advertisement or promotion for your journal or any item as you'll automatically get organic search and organic sales so once you have decided the type of journal that you'd like to create for example you can see this one is journals for pastors and you can see that this journal has sold over 100 in the past month and by scrolling down, you can see that majority of these journals are selling. And if I were to tap on that particular journal, you can see, as I said, it is a low content book. All you have is simply blank pages, as you can see right there, to take notes. Now, to make a journal like this, the platform that I recommend you use is Canva. And with Canva.com, you can sign up for completely free. All you'll need to do is add your email address and create a password and that's it. Once you are signed up to Canva, the next thing I want you to do, you are going to go onto this website which is bookho.com. And the reason why you are going onto bookho.com is to get the exact specifications for the journal size. So once on bookho.com, you are going to tap right where you see KDP cover template generator. You are going to tap on that, come and use this template generator is by simply entering, for example, six by nine. You don't take into account the spine section, which would be the middle section of the book. But by going onto this platform and typing in the exact measurement that you want, you will take into account the spine section right here. So once someone goes onto Amazon and they purchase your journal and they decide to take the print format, they don't have to worry about it not being the exact size when it's printed as you have taken into account the spine section. So let's say for example, I'm creating a six by nine book. All I would need to do is simply type in six right there, then nine. Then you're going to decide the amount of pages you want to add. So for this example, I'll be adding 30 pages and you're going to leave it at white. After you have done that, you're going to scroll down and you are going to fill in your email address twice, then tap on consent to email, and you are going to tap on email cover template. After you have done that, this pop-up is going to appear, and all you have to do is tap on maybe next time, then tap on continue. Once you have downloaded the book cover, as you can see right here, 
what I want you to pay attention to is the page layout size in the top left hand corner as you can see right here. So you can see the exact size that we'll need. It's 312.87 by 234 mm. So all you're going to do now is minimize this and you are going to go on Canva and you are going to tap on custom size. Then you are going to enter the size that you are using as you can see right here. And you want to ensure that you have selected MM. Once you have done that, you are going to tap on create new design. After tapping on create new design, you will be redirected to a blank template or better yet a blank canvas as you can see right here. And the first thing you are going to do is go over to the left hand menu option, tap on uploads. Then you are going to tap on upload files and you are going to add the cover that you had downloaded. So let me add the cover real quick, then tap on open. Once you have added the cover, as you can see right here, I want you to add it to the canvas. So you are going to simply tap and drag and you are going to place it on the canvas. Just like what you see that I've done right here. Then you are going to tap on the canvas. Once you have tapped on the canvas, you are going to see the transparency icon pop up right beside the lock. And all you'll need to do is tap on that. And I want you to carry the transparency to the left hand corner. And from there, let's say we carry it to about 30, as you can see right here. Then we can start designing our book cover. So from here, you can choose the items that you would like to add on your book cover. So let's say, for example, I want to add just randomly, let's say I would like to add a, a just creating a random book cover. So let's say I would like to add a football just for example sake. So I will simply go over, tap on elements. Then from here, I'm going to type in football and I'm going to tap on football right here. After you have done that, you can choose the football that you like to add. So I'll simply tap on this one and you can see right here. So let's say I'm going to add a football in the bottom corner right here. Then after doing that, let's say I want to add some text. I'll simply tap on text. Then I'll tap on add heading. Then I'm going to carry it over to the book cover front right here. Let me do that real quick. I'll minimize the size. So the reason why we're using the template is it makes it easy for us to create a book cover and overall a book using the exact size. So I'll simply name this simple answers as you can see right here. And you can also change the font and so on from the top menu option. After you have done that, you can change the background color. So let's say I would like to change the background color. All I would need to do is tap on background color right here. And let's say I would like to change the background color just for example sake to yellow. Then after I've changed the background color, I'm going to tap on transparency and I'm going to carry the transparency to zero. And that's it. Now I'm going to tap on add page. After I've tapped on add page, from here you're going to see this page right here. And I want to remove the background color, so I'm going to tap on background color right here. And let's say I want the background color to be white, so I'll tap on white. Then I'm going to go over to the top left hand corner. And again, I'm going to tap right where you see elements. After you have tapped on elements, from here I'm going to simply type in notebook pages. So let me do that real quick or you can type in note paper. After you have done that, you'll see these pop up and you can simply scroll across until you find one to your liking. So let's say I tap on line pages. The best one I found was by tapping on design in the top left hand corner. Then in the search menu, I simply typed in line page or line paper better yet. Then all I did was scroll down and I decided to use this one. Once you have done that, all you'll need to do now, depending on the amount of pages that you decided to add, you will simply tap on copy right here or duplicate page. So I planned to add 30 pages. So all I would need to do is duplicate this 29 times. 
so you can see it right there that's all i would have to do and you can see that it is duplicating the pages once it has duplicated the amount of pages that you would like to add you are going to tap on share in the top right hand corner after tapping on share you are going to simply scroll down and you are going to tap on download after tapping on download you are going to tap right where you will see png after tapping on png what i want you to do now you are going to tap right where you see pdf print you are going to tap on that after tapping on pdf print what i want you to do is tap right where you see all pages and you are going to use this for your first page which would be the book cover so let me tap on done real quick then after doing that you are going to go over to the top right hand corner again and you are going to tap on share after tapping on share you are going to tap on download again then after tapping on download you are going to tap right where you see png and again you are going to tap on pdf print then you are going to select 14 pages or the amount of pages that you have created you are going to tap on done and you can see rgb you want to leave it as then you are going to tap on download once you have downloaded it you are going to go over back to amazon so you are going to go back onto amazon once on amazon as you can see right here all you will need to do now you want to go onto amazon kdp so i'm going to tap on the search bar right here and i'm going to simply type in amazon kdp and you can see right here once on amazon kdp i'll show you what to do next so we are going to tap right here then from here you can either sign in or you can sign up if you don't already have an amazon account but since i already have one i'll simply tap on sign in then you'll be redirected to this page and all you have to do now you're going to tap on create once you have tapped on create you'll be redirected to this page and all you have to do is tap on create paperback after you have tapped on create paperback you'll be redirected to a new dashboard and from here you can choose the language you can add the book title right here so let me simply name this test then you can add a subtitle if you want and you are going to scroll down you can add your name right here so you can add your first name you don't have to use your right name then you can scroll down and you can add a description if you want so i'll simply just type in something random then you are going to scroll down and after scrolling down you'll tap i own the copyright then you are going to scroll down right here adult only content it all depends on the type of journal that you are doing then after doing that you are going to scroll down right here and you can choose whether you would like it to be sold only on amazon.com or you'd like it to be sold overall you can select anyone that you want once you have done that you are going to see categories and you are going to choose the category that you would like so let's say for example i'll tap right where you see low content book right there then let me scroll back up and answer the adult only so no this is not an adult only book then i'm going to scroll down and after scrolling down let me choose the category so i'll tap on choose category then from there you can select one so let's say for example i want to tap on this right here then after doing that i'll simply tap on save category then from here you can type in the different keywords depending on the type of journal that you are creating and you are going to tap on save and continue once on this page you can simply tap on publish without an isp once on this page you'll simply tap on publish without an isbn then you are going to scroll down and you can see publication date and you can leave that as is you don't have to fill in that and we'll simply leave it as black and white interior as if we were to change to another one it will typically make the price more expensive so we want to leave it at a budget friendly price then you are going to select the size that you are using 
I'm using a 6x9. If you are using a different size, you'll simply tap on select a different size. And I'm going to add the bleed. So I'm going to tap on bleed PDF. Then I'm going to leave it at matte paper. So all I'll need to do now is scroll down. Then from here, you're going to upload your book manuscript. So you're going to tap right there. And you're going to simply upload the manuscript or better the book pages that you had created. So let me do that real quick. After you have done that, you're also going to add and upload your cover. And you're going to upload the cover right here that you had created on Canva. And once you have uploaded the cover, next you're going to simply tap on continue. And then from there, all you'll need to do now is add your payment option. So you're going to tap on save and continue. And then from there, you can select the price that you'd want. And that's basically it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.